you or your dog were to come across a rattlesnake, the best thing to do is try to avoid bites in the first place. If it's just you out hiking as a human, you know, and you hear a rattle or something, the best thing to do is to stop, look around, identify where the snake is, and then uh, just slowly move yourself around them. Their vision's pretty poor, but they do see kind of rapid movement. Uh, the next thing is, if you are bitten, uh, the best treatment, there really is no good field treatments out there. The old John Wayne techniques of cutting across the fang marks and trying to suck the venom out, it doesn't work. You know, the nice thing about uh, a rattlesnake is you're gonna know within probably 10 seconds whether you've got venom or not, because it's gonna hurt really, really bad. Well, so in Idaho, since we've been keeping vital statistics, there's no recorded death by rattlesnake bite. So, so these guys, in, in comparison to say like a, a Western Diamondback, are not, not as toxic. But really the best thing is the sooner you can get there, the better, because the sooner we can get anti-venin on board, uh, that, that helps kind of negate the effects of the toxin. So you're, you're more likely to be in less pain and more likely to uh, have less tissue destruction from the venom. Yeah, don't, don't kill snakes, they're helpful. You know, they're beneficial, they eat rodents, the rodents that spread disease and eat our crops and stuff. So, and for the most part, they're shy, secretive creatures. They don't want to mess with you, so you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone.